So today we're going to be discussing one of my favorite options from Balenciaga, the flap clutch. Hello everyone, welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Caleb and on here you're gonna find a lot of things like luxury shopping, a little too many reveals, reviews, and unboxings, luxury travel, and anything that has to do with life and style, you're gonna find right here. So make sure to hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and say hi down in the comments. I love chatting with all of you and getting to know you and learning more about this crazy luxury obsessed community we have going on. Also, if you don't already, find me over on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer, same name over on TikTok, talk and I know I say this every week but I actually just started posting over there a couple videos anyway so today we're going to talk about one of my most favorite bags the Balenciaga flap clutch so you can see I have a mini obsession I have five here love to add more <laughs> so Balenciaga as you all know, if you're new to my channel, I'm Balenciaga obsessed. It's probably my favorite, I mean, it is my favorite design house, truly, honestly. In my collection in the past year, I've added, I think I'm up to 11 or 12 at this point, and then four wallets. I have quite a few pieces from Balenciaga. It's, it's the most prevalent design house in my collection. And I just, I, I love it. The, the, the beautiful buttery lambskin, the moto style, the, the chunky architectural weird hardware. It's it's a vibe, I'm here for it. You know, they have the Neo City, but I hope that they really kind of have like a throwback bag. You know what I mean? Come out like the, like the Dior Saddle or the Fendi Baguette. Like give us a true lambskin city bag and I think that'd be amazing. Anyway, before I get too off topic, let's get into it. This bag, it's one of my favorites. Um, if you haven't already heard the story, I'll tell it to you real quick. We were in Italy at the outlet mall in Florence, the mall, which is absolutely amazing. Well worth a day trip. If you guys want me to give you more information on that, I can. I don't have a whole lot of video though, but I picked up some gorgeous Gucci runway pieces and it was a good day. Anyway, so we went to Balenciaga and I absolutely fell in love with a clutch that they had there. It was, it was 2018, so there were still some of those like moto style pieces, you know, at the outlet. And I told myself, you know what, I just want some water and some gelato. I wanted to sit down for a minute, think about it. And then we were gonna go back into Balenciaga. I was going to inevitably buy the bag as I always do. I don't know what happened. We got on the bus, we're halfway back to Florence and I realized I didn't go back to Balenciaga. So then that literally led to like a two year search for the bag. I couldn't remember if it was the clip clutch, a document holder or what have you. I think I eventually settled on the clip clutch in black. Review is linked down in the description as always. And I um, absolutely loved that bag. It was from 2016, it had the blackout hardware, super cool. And then that led into envelope flap, the brief, the this, the that, and now here we are with my obsession. So the collection that I do have here, it's, it's pretty varied. Um, so let's run through the colors, seasons, hardware options that I have, and then I'll give you some more information on the bag itself. In my collection up front, the very first one that I have, probably the favorite. No, I don't have favorites in my collection. I, I love them all. Like I, I forget the colors I have because I keep my Balenciagas in their dust bags just because the leather is prone to um, sun fading and things like that. So I like to keep them, you know, in their dust bags and when I pull them out, I fall in love all over again. So the first one that I have here, this is from 2009 Autumn Winter. This color is called Raisin. And this one is fairly unique because it's the Giant Covered Hardware or GCH giant covered hardware. I absolutely love this one. So it's in like a really thick leather. This is gonna be like a year or two after they switched from the Chev leather to the Agno lambskin leather. And what I love the most about the giant covered hardware, they've, they've enlarged the hardware, including the buckles, wrapped it all in leather, and then given the Brogue style detailing throughout all the trim. Absolutely stunning bag. And of course, just like all of the other Balenciagas, each envelope flap clutch comes with its matching mirror. I think in my collection I have all the mirrors. I won't buy these unless they have the mirror. I'm very, I don't know, I'm very controlling when it comes to my Balenciaga collection. Now this piece I like to carry a lot in the fall just because it's such a rich purple color. I mean, oh my god, Balenciaga just doesn't get any better than this. Now, the next three bags in my collection are all from the same season, the same year. Apparently I'm really into these pastel shades, so here they are. So. 
Up front, we have Blue Tropical. Now this one has the giant rose gold covered hardware. Now with the giant hardware, you're going to see kind of like a thimble-esque rivet. And with the gold, rose gold hardware, this one just has a little bit more um, aging in between all of the detail work and the metal. And then you do see a little bit more of the rose gold here in the zipper pull as well. Now again, this one has its mirror, of course. And these actually come quite handy. Uh, if you're out to lunch, you need to check your teeth before you go back to the office. I mean, it's perfect for that. Now, Blue Tropical, like I said, this was a spring summer 2013 bag, also in the lambskin leather. And I think 2013 was a really good year for Balenciaga leather, especially the spring summer colors. They're, it's just like a, a, a thicker, richer color. Um, it, they, they haven't really faded, knock on wood or marble, whatever. And I think it's just a really nice, just a nice bag. I mean, it's, it's perfect. Now, the difference between these, so that season you could have it. I think they discontinued the giant covered hardware and by 2011, I think it's gone, but they had the three colors for 2013. So up next in my collection, I have, this is kind of a fan favorite, the Rose Bonbon. This one has the giant gold hardware and it's a nice, shiny, rich, warm gold. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this one. I haven't carried it since this spring. I mean, it still smells brand new. And if I remember right, I think this one even came with its original paperwork. Like I think this was a complete set minus the box. So not a complete set, but it had all of its paperwork. The 2009 one does as well. I love this one. Now, this one is also a spring summer 2013, just like Rose Bon Bon and the Blue Tropical. This color is called Curry. And this features the giant silver hardware, which I mean, on the clutch, you see the rose gold, in my opinion, a lot more than you do, say, the silver, and even more so than the, the bright gold. Um, for some reason, the rose gold was really popular, and, and I think two of my five have the rose gold. This one, I think I bought this one back in, like, March, I think. I revealed this in one of my earlier episodes, and it's a bit cringy, so if you go back and watch, be very kind in the comments. But, curry spring summer 2013. Now, the one that started it all, this crazy Balenciaga flap clutch obsession is this one right here. So this one is just the noir. Now noir could be made literally any year. So I mean, it could be a 2007, it could be a 2014. I have no way of dating it because unlike the Balenciaga city bags, the a lot of the bags that weren't like the, you know, like the, the top ones, the, the first, the city, like the ones that had the date codes, they don't get those. So you have to really know your colors unless the reseller you're buying them from, which these all came from Fashion File, Rebag, and I think this was a Yugi's Closet. Unless they know what color it is, you really have to do your homework. Now, some colors are easier than others. Like the Blue Tropical, the Curry, those are really easy to date. If it's like a pink, best of luck. You have to really know your stuff. Anyway, Noir, like I said, could be literally any season. The way that it feels, it's it's a different leather than the other four. It's, it's a thicker, almost a kind of a drier leather, if that makes sense. So I'm almost wondering if this wasn't before they switched from the Chev leather to the uh, lambskin. I don't wanna tell you guys wrong. This one is fabulous. It is an older one though, because it doesn't have the zipper pocket back here like 2013 did. So we know it's a pre-2013. So with that in mind, it's definitely an older bag. Anyway, so let's dive in and really learn the ins and outs of the Balenciaga flap clutch. All right, so before we get into it, dimensions. So the exterior, it is 12 inches in length, seven inches tall. Fashion File says the dimension is about an inch. I mean, when it's empty, not really, but this thing really holds quite a bit, which I'll show you here in a minute. Now, from the exterior, you have this pocket here. You're probably thinking like, okay, that's a pretty pointless pocket. Doesn't really do anything. You're wrong. So it actually goes pretty much down to about here. So it could fit a cell phone in there. If you wanted to be really inconvenient, you could. I've never really used this pocket back here. I maybe have stuck a receipt or something in there before. I don't know. I don't, I never really used that pocket. Now the interior of the bag, first you have the flap here. So this opens up with a button snap closure and it goes the entire length of the bag, but just keep in mind it will be folded out about this point. So you really just have the body of the bag to work with there. Again, it's kind of an awkward, once you have all the weight up front and here, it's kind of an awkward pocket to use back here. So I've, I've again, never really placed anything back there either. And also it just kind of looks bulky in the back of the bag. I don't really like that look, so I don't use that compartment. Now the interior itself, it is divided into two spacious compartments. So the interior is just lined in a cotton twill. It's a really nice um, light fabric. It's already a light leather, the lambskin. I mean, these weigh next to nothing. That makes it so nice to carry. The front pocket, it's 
plain. This easily fits a full length wallet, which you'll see here in a minute. My iPhone 11 Pro Max. And then back here, you'll have the D-ring, which attaches to the, you know, included mirror. On the later ones, they don't have the little card holder slot, but on my 2008 Carbon, I have the card holder on the back, which is a pretty neat look. My Carbon Brief, link in the description. Now, in the back compartment, it's the same length as the bag, so this is where I kind of put, because you already have the bulky mirror, the awkward tassel holding the mirror to the bag, that's kind of where I throw like my gum, my Chanel chapstick, for those of you who know, and like my car keys, things like that. Well, I don't have a car anymore, so like my just keys, I guess. And then on the newer versions of this bag, you do have a small zippered pocket back here. It's not very big. You really couldn't put a whole lot back there. Maybe some Shiseido blotting papers if you wanted to be really organized. Um, again, not a pocket I use very often. Now on the interior of the bag, it is stamped Balenciaga Paris. And then underneath you will have the codes on the bottom. Now this one is marked J for 2013. So I'm guessing maybe in later years, they started adding the date code to some of the bags. Unless it's like I said, unless it's like the city bags or or like the you know like the really popular ones the the date codes and small details they, they changed quite a bit with Balenciaga which is kind of frustrating from a collector's standpoint but I mean I get it this wasn't their bread and butter so changes will occur I guess now price wise so in my collection I think for most of them I paid between about 200 and maybe just under 500. This clutch you can usually find at a pretty great price point, typically between three and four on average for very good condition with a dust bag and mirror and all that. Um, without a mirror, I really don't think I'd pay over 250 for it just because if you're a Balenciaga collector, once you lose the mirror, you know there's absolutely literally no hope of ever finding the right color to match your bag. And if you do, it's gonna cost a fortune. Um, I need to find the tassels for my carbon and it's literally gonna be so impossible. I'm just gonna have a leather smith make them. That's how hard it is to find the replacement pieces for these bags, which is a true shame. It is what it is. Not many people are out there separating their, well, I'd hope they wouldn't separate their mirrors and tassels from their Balenciagas, but I mean, I guess it would happen. Finding a rare, you know, rose bonbon from nearly 10 years ago, it's gonna be pretty hard, especially, you know, something with this condition. Now let's take a moment and see what all fits inside one of these. All right, so let's take a look and see what all can fit inside my favorite, the beautiful Balenciaga flap clutch. Here on the front of the bag, we have the classic Balenciaga moto style details here with the rivets, the buckles, the chunky hardware. I'm living for it, it's, it's everything. So like I said, on the front side of the bag, you have this zippered pocket that goes down about two thirds the way of the back, I would say. So you could fit a phone down there. I mean, would you really want to? Probably not. Now the body of the bag itself, you do have this pocket here. That's a snap closure, goes the full length of the bag. And then on the interior, you have the two compartments. On the newer style, here's that zipper I was talking about. And then of course the mirror. So first let's try this with a full size wallet. This is the Compagnon wallet from Balenciaga. I revealed this one in an earlier haul couple weeks ago. Don't ask me the color, I already forget, but it's gorgeous and I've been using this this week. Now this fits nicely down on the inside and typically I like to face my hardware towards the back. This just helps so that way if anything's rubbing on the front of the bag, like say if you have it under your arm or something, the leather out here is not going to press up against the hardware on the inside and wear prematurely. Would that actually help? I don't know. Maybe it's just, you know, wishful thinking. Now, on this channel, you all know we use the old 6 Plus because it's similar in size to the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and that slips right here in the front with the wallet. Easy access. Now back here with the mirror, I usually like to put small odds and ends back here. We'll fit our six key holder back there, our Chanel chapstick, Shiseido blotting papers, and these ratty old Bose headphones I'm always complaining about. Now the front here, the flap closes with a magnetic closure. And even though we have pretty much everything that we can get in a full size bag, it's really not bulgy or anything. It's just a classic design. I absolutely love it. Now for kicks, let's see what a smaller wallet would look like on the inside. So this is a smaller zip around wallet, also from Balenciaga. Of course, this is the one instance in my collection that has the smaller classic hardware. I think everything else is giant. Uh, that's a lie, I think my carbon brief is also classic. I don't know, don't quote me on it. Anyway, so this will fit right here at the front. Let's flip it around to kind of even things out. Maybe let's put our keys over here as well. And then again, our phone will just slip right here at the front. So 
two wallets, pretty much the same result. I can't say it enough. I absolutely love the Balenciaga flap clutch. I think that having five of these kind of makes me the authority on the Balenciaga flap clutch. Um, it's, it's one of my favorite bags. I think it's so much fun. They're, they're unique. You get that Balenciaga city bag look and vibe without having that massive bag on, on your arm. And it's just, it's a fun bag. It, it holds a lot for its size. You can collect all the colors. It's not terribly expensive. This is a really great option if you're just looking for an everyday clutch and especially something under the radar. I think a lot of people, unless you're familiar with the luxury community and Balenciaga bags and their characteristics, I think these can usually go pretty much unclocked by other, you know, normal should I say, people, um, which is kind of nice. If you just want to go under the radar, if you just want to carry this to work or, you know, to the store real quick and not really make a big scene, this is the way to go. That's probably true for the black one. Now, if I carried one like the, like the pink or the yellow, that's going to get some attention. And that's what I love about Balenciaga. You can kind of pick and choose when you want to make a statement. And I, I just love that about the brand, the the quality, the craftsmanship. I mean, my collection, the these clutches are about eight to 13 years old and they still look pretty great. So I highly recommend checking Fashion File, Rebag, Yugi's Closet for some of these older clutches. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am working on putting together a huge Balenciaga knowledge episode. So it's gonna cover things like leather options, hardware more in depth, caring for, storing, cleaning, dating, all types of things you know related to Balenciaga. So if you guys have any specific Balenciaga related questions, let me know down in the comments and I'll make sure to address those in my video. And if you guys want, tell me which color is your favorite down in the bottom, down in the comments. I pretty much have one for, for every need, but I definitely wanna add some more. There's a few that just hit fashion file over the weekend. They might have to come home with me. All right, guys. Again, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, that's awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good week. Bye-bye.